This week I'm out on Devil's Lake and I'll tell you what, this is one of the funnest places in the world that you can go walleye fishing. Stay right where you're at, Fish Head's coming up. That is a good way to start our morning right there, putting eater in the boat right away. You know, what I'm doing here is I'm covering ground fast. And if you wonder why I'm fishing a crankbait this morning instead of a jig, it's because I'm trying to locate fish. And what a crankbait allows me to do is really rip along and cover ground. And what I'm doing right now is I'm casting up onto a flat, okay? I'm just off the edge and I'm flinging a crankbait up there and you can see how fast I'm moving the boat too. I mean, I'm doing everything fast, okay? My retrieve rate is fast because I'm looking for fish. The boat speed is fast because I'm looking for fish. Now, when I find a pile of them and if I make a couple more casts, put a couple more of these in the boat and throw them in the live well, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. I'll park the boat out here. I'll even slow my retrieve down a little bit, make sure I'm in the strike zone a little bit longer throw him in the live well. That's a great way to start our day right there. There he is. Catch it up, we'll throw that guy back. Got him. With that guy, I had just gotten just gotten past that lip and this guy came roaring in there and smacked it. You can see what I'm fishing here. What we're actually doing is this is old shoreline and what's happened here is water's come up a couple feet this past year again which seems to happen a lot on Devil's Lake and what it's done is created a brand new lip and that's what I'm fishing here. Now what I'm trying to do is stay out off of the lip and cast to it. And sometimes that can get a little bit tricky, especially when you got the wind blowing in today, but that's one of the biggest keys to what I'm doing here is you have got to fish the windy side when you're fishing shorelines like this. If you get into that calm stuff, these fish are just not as active. And out here, they really like being in that wind blown stuff. And here's why, it's blowing more of that shrimp in and the bait fish are in on that stuff, eating at those shrimp. And that's when those fish are gonna be up shallow. So keep that in mind. Get on the windy side and then also fish the outside edge of that lip. Keep coming over it and then every now and then make a cast up it. And what you'll find out is you'll catch fish after fish, walleyes after walleyes like that one. This one may be better. You know what, these fish, have just slipped a little bit off the edge. And you know, that's because the wind's gone down. You can tell the wind's gone down. You look around, look at the bugs in the boat. All of a sudden it's changed. Without the wind, I've got a little bit of bugs, but also those fish just slipped off that edge. So I made one adjustment here that I want to show you. It's a nice little walleye. We'll let him go though. The one adjustment I made here though is this. Notice I changed rods. I went to a super line and here's why. Earlier, those fish were up in about five feet of water, so I was able to cast that crank in there and work it back, and I was catching them right on the top half of the lip. Now they've slid down to the bottom without the wind, so they're laying down in about seven feet. So by going to a super line, I'm able to get that shadling deeper. Let me also show you the lure I'm using. This is a number five Lindy Shadling. Here's one of the most important parts about this lure. It's got a nice tight wobble and a whole bunch of great colors. Today I'm fishing a combination of either the yellow perch or the fire tiger, but it's got rattles. And that's really, really important when you're casting into an area where the water may be a little bit dirty because the wind's been going in there. The fish can tune in on this, and all said and done, it's a great search bait, and it catches them like crazy when you get on them. Where'd my lure go? One of the things about fishing out here is while you're knocking on these walleyes, you're gonna go through some pike as well. They live in the same spot. So one of the things you notice that I do 
And this is just to save crankbaits. You'll notice I'm running a real thin steel leader. It's only you know six to nine inches long is all you need. But if you don't have one of those, you're gonna go through a lot of baits. Oh yeah, look at him. That's a great eye to finish up the day with. You know, I think the whole key to catching fish throughout the day today has been making changes. Changing my cadence while I was reeling in, changing my retrieve speed, slowing it down, speeding it up, doing a lot of different things. I'll tell you what, casting cranks is just a ball. Fish hit it, and it's just wham, and it's just a whole bunch of fun. So get out and give it a shot on a body of water near you, and if you can get out here to Devil's Lake, this bite is just off the hook right now. Hey, for more current and up-to-date information, check back with us next week. I'm John Thielen, we'll catch you next time.